Hello everyone and welcome to a little tutorial on how to make the candles that I put on the backpacks of my Black Templars. This one's pretty quick. You can see here the main tool that I use. It's just an X-Acto knife handle with a metal dome headed pin uh, stuck into it. There you go, that's, that's what a pin looks like. Um, the other things that you'll need that you can see on the desk here are a cork. This is the top of a rather nice rye liqueur. Uh, not a sponsor. That's a lighter, and leave one of them as well. And these are just little sections of plastic rod, which you'll see in just a second. I think this is one millimeter rod, but just pick a whichever thickness you want your candles to be. There it is. So basically all you do is take your X-Acto knife, just cut off a length that's a bit longer than the candle, uh, well, than you want the candle to be. So it will get shortened throughout the process. Uh, the other thing is you'll want to drill a few holes in the backpacks or shoulder pads or wherever you're going to put them. There you go, that's how a drill works. Uh, just so that the candle can get sunk in there and it won't go anywhere. So the first thing that I do is kind of prod the, the plastic rod into the cork. I've sort of pre-drilled a little hole there so it'll seat nicely. Then heat up the pin. See this pin's been heated up plenty of times before, it's covered in carbon on my hands. Um, takes a second to warm up. The other thing is you want to make sure that the a fair bit of the pin is sticking out otherwise the heat will just transfer into the uh, X-Acto knife handle and the tip won't get hot enough so just make sure that you don't need, a, you don't need to put much pressure on this so there's no need to put the pin way down in the handle just a quarter of a centimeter or so in there and tighten it up. Once it's got hot enough, you've got to work pretty quickly. You want to press it into the top fairly gently and then just run down one side. And what that's going to do is that's going to melt the plastic in a pattern that emulates the way that wax will melt as a candle burns. So it's such a small scale it's hard to show here, but you get kind of a little divot in the top and then uh, something that looks like wax having run down the side of the candle in the front. You can see I've made a fair few here. It's very, very quick. Um, probably expect to screw up. 50% of them, but they're basically free, so it doesn't really matter. Just pick the ones like you, that you like the look of and go with them. So now uh, you'll see I've cleaned my hands here, because you don't want to get carbon all up in your green stuff. But I just mix up a little bit of that. Uh, this is way too much, but that doesn't really matter. Just use it to make more press mold Black Templar iconography. So mix that up. And through the power of editing, bam, there it is. Uh, so once that's mixed up, you just kind of want to make some little, some little balls of it, really. Nothing too fancy, because most of the shaping happens when it's actually on the candle. So just cutting up some little chunks, roll it around a little bit, don't spend too much time on this, just try and make sure they're fairly smooth. No sort of great big fingerprints or divots or anything in them. But if you just roll them between your fingers or along the mat for a second, Get these little pellets. Then the next thing that you want to do after you've made up a few of these, as you can see, I've got a lot of candles to do. Yeah, the next thing you want to do is grab out some super glue. And you only want to use a tiny little bit of super glue. So instead of coming straight out of the tube, I use a little bottle cap, uh, Furphy, not a sponsor, and just put a couple of drops into that so that I can really control the amount of super glue that I'm putting onto the candle. And the idea is basically to glue the lump of green stuff where the flame would be. And then because glue sets green stuff so quickly, that gives you a solid base to work from. And using that solid base, you can kind of create the, the shape of the flame. Which you'll see in just a second. There we go, I'm getting a... So it's just kind of a little, little pellet of green stuff there. And just drop it in with the knife. Oh, not with the knife, with the, with the tweezers. Now it's... It can be a bit annoying to get to stick, so I end up just kind of pressing it in with my thumb there, 
I just be a bit careful with this, otherwise the super glue will stick to your thumb and your thumb will stick to the green stuff and it's a disaster. But as it is, this one seems to have worked out. So from here, what I'm doing is I'm kind of pinching the green stuff just up the top. Well, I'm, I'm pressing it in at the base so that it's thinner at the base to kind of emulate the shape of a flame and pinching at the top and kind of shaping it into to whatever whatever shape I want the flame to be. You can make it dramatically blowing off to the side, you can make it straight up, you can make big flames, small flames, it's it's all up to you. So here I'm just kind of going for a pretty pretty generic looking thing, slightly wispy sort of job. And you can see pulling it with the tweezers kind of makes it naturally taper out the way that a flame would. Uh, and there you go, there is a candle. Now these things are obviously incredibly fragile. If you so much as touch this, you will have ruined the the flame. So I just chuck a bit of blue tack onto my trusty little rock and rye slow and low lid there. And then pop the candle in that and just leave it there for a full day, two days if you're skittish. Uh, and as you can see, I've burned through a fair few of them, so now I've got, huh, no pun intended, uh, I've got some eight candles or something there. So that'll supplement the measly two that you get with the new Crusaders box. Uh, yeah, all done.